last time on the runway, they asked her, are you going to be always camp? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rewatched untucked moments. You wanna know who I think should go home? For this list, we're looking at the most iconic fights and emotional moments of RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. Which untucked moment gave you life? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Aja versus Valentina. Tensions are usually high after deliberations. That fact definitely played into this well-known untucked moment. Everything started out as normal. Each queen explained what the judges said to them on stage. But when it was Valentina's turn, Aja suddenly interrupted. She repeated the judge's words in a mocking tone. Valentina, Valentina what did they say? Oh my God, they said so many things. Like You're perfect, you're beautiful, them. you look like Linda Evangelista, you're a model. Aja even went on to insinuate that Valentina could put no effort into her look and still receive praise. The other queens were all speechless. They eat her up every single time. By remaining calm, Valentina made the moment seem even more dramatic. It's almost as though she didn't want to give Aja the satisfaction of a reaction. I'm not going to say nothing to Dan. This sharp moment has gone on to be loved among fans while spurring countless memes and parody videos. Number 9. Alyssa Edwards vs. Jade Jolie It all started when the season 5 queens were asked who do you think should go home tonight and why. Alyssa called out Jade, even though she had already been deemed safe that week. The following episode, there was still clearly some bad blood between them. When Alyssa brought up the fight they had in the Interior Illusions Lounge, Jade defended herself. I'm not gonna sit there and be a little lamb and just so someone tear me to shreds like you do well, some of these I other girls. She started out soft at first, but upon hearing Alyssa make negative comments about her drag, Jade snapped and insulted the other queen's body. Girl, if I was gonna I judge, judge anyone, I judge you on that body where their shoulders should match them hips, you, but you they don't, so. The comment immediately led to a stunned silence. Seeing she had left a mark, Jade went in for the kill. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. This insult would later become one of the most quoted lines in untucked history. It just goes to show that if you can dish it out, you need to be ready to take it too. Number 8. Mimi I'm First versus Everybody if you ever needed a reminder that Mimi I'm First was never the most popular queen, you just need to watch one infamous clip. Actually, no, there are several, but here's one of them. After the week's critiques, Alexis Mateo was asked to explain why she had beef with Mimi. Turns out it was due to a lost job. I lost my job because of Mimi taking over my whole bar. These comments kicked off a chain reaction of people calling Mimi out for past incidents. As the room grew more chaotic, Fans got more than a few iconic moments to talk about. Not only does Raven insinuate Mimi rigged the fan vote, but Tammy Brown also throws in a few chaotic quips. We are living in a world where people look at us like we're freaks. Ha! Ha! I'm acting. Yara Sofia's last cutting remark ultimately causes the queen to leave the room. So out of 50 motherfucking bitches that have been here, how did you manage that? Because they need someone to go home first. <laughs> This scene has gone on to become one of the most memorable of the first season of All Stars. Number 7. Trinity K. Bonet reveals her HIV status. Untucked isn't just about dramatic fights between the queens. It also gives them the opportunity to be honest with each other on a more personal level. After confronting her HIV-positive diagnosis privately, Trinity K. Bonet decided to share her status with everyone. I am HIV-positive. I was diagnosed in August of 2012. She hoped her honest public confession on the popular show could help break the stigma surrounding HIV. Bonet focused heavily on how she didn't want to let her diagnosis get in the way of her goals and expressed she wanted to inspire others to continue living their lives after their diagnosis. And I'm hoping by sharing my story, I will inspire others and that they will take it and they will apply it to themselves. Since then, Trinity has continued to educate others about the importance of getting tested and getting treatment. There are people out there that love you and will support you. And if you don't have anybody, know that I love you and I support you. Number 6. Willem versus Fifi O'Hara Fifi O'Hara and Willem are two queens who were not afraid to stir the pot on their season. At all. And they did not get along from the start of the competition. 
While they argued throughout the show, their fight after the Frenemies Challenge took it to a whole new level. There's plenty of other talented people that deserve to be here besides her. <laughs> Fifi said that she was upset that she had been critiqued and Willem hadn't. This led to a few brutal comments being thrown back and forth. You're bringing down morale about around here and your negativity and the stuff that you've been doing. It's representing everybody as a whole and that's not how it should be because I don't want my name to be tarnished because of your behavior. After the first clash, the queens went on to fight twice more in that episode alone. Fans and Latrice Royale lived for the drama. Viewers also particularly loved Willem's calm demeanor and comebacks like the one about her opponent's tone. Your tone seems very pointed right now. Number 5. Morgan McMichaels vs. Mystique Summers One of Untucked's most iconic moments actually happened in its first ever episode. Morgan McMichaels had heard that Mystique was shading her behind her back. Eventually, this led to a confrontation between queens. I don't start drama, I end it. The argument quickly escalated. Before long, Mystique was threatening to hit Morgan while saying one of the most iconic phrases in Drag Race history. You piss me off some more, I, I will whoop your Honey. Ass. Bitch, I am from Chicago. This fight and Mystique's city-centered comeback are still referenced on the show to this day. For some fans, this argument earned its place in the Hall of Fame because it set the tone for Untucked as a whole. Fans couldn't help but tune in each week when there was the potential for this much drama. After all, if you're not watching Untucked, you're only getting half the story. Number 4. Eureka vs. The Vixen Sometimes, all it takes is one offhand comment to start a fight. While discussing the top and bottom placements, Eureka offended the vixen by referring to her drag as crafty. But see, you, yeah, get, you get that type of drag way better than I do because you're a very crafty queen. Yeah. While that word isn't always an insult, it generally has a negative connotation on Drag Race. When the vixen attempted to defend herself, Eureka completely brushed her off. Nobody's being negative, but we disagree with what you're saying. That's not negative, that's a disagreement. Things only got more dramatic when Eureka came back after initially wanting to walk away. This fight was just the beginning of their season-long feud. I don't think it's fair that I you get to be respectful to other people more than you are me, and I've been nothing but nice to you and even get what ready beside you, girl. Mean to you? Additionally, their conflict sparked discussion among the fanbase about race and how the fandom handles altercations between two queens, a conversation that's still ongoing to this day. Number 3. Tamisha Iman vs. Candy Muse One way to immediately cause tension on Untucked is to go after a queen who isn't even up for elimination. After the bag ball episode, Tamisha Iman decided to enter the ring and, while also complimenting her look, decided to called Candy Muse out for being arrogant. You're not being confident, you're being arrogant. And Candy was understandably upset about it. Do I come off as arrogant to anyone else in this group? No. Yes, Candy. I mean, but Tamisha would not back down. I said what I said. The fight got so intense that it nearly escalated to a physical conflict. Neither of them backed down until they were forcibly broken up. Since some fans considered their falling out to be some of the most intense, real drama Untucked had showcased in a couple of seasons, this clip was rewatched many times. There goes Untucked for this week. Oh my god. Seeing the fight culminate in a Candy vs. Tamisha lip sync in the following episode was the piece de resistance. Number 2. Laganja Estranja feeling very attacked. Laganja Estranja was known during her season for being dramatic, particularly in Untucked. While the queens had lightly pointed it out in the past, things came to a head after the Drag Queens of Comedy Challenge. I know this is not a good time to do this, but now I need to talk to Miss Laganja. It's time to clear the air. The mood was already tense when Bianca decided to call out the fact that Laganja hadn't been completely honest about her relationship with her parents. I believe that you've come into this competition with an act. You came in, waterworks, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me, and you're not even given a true story. So explain that to me. This immediately resulted in a fight. I think I have been 100% Jay, and I'm sorry that it's been annoying, and I'm sorry that you feel I've tried to be something that I'm not. After Adore Delano agreed that Laganja had changed, things got even more explosive. This opened the door to one of the most quoted rants in the show's history. Yeah, I feel very attacked! Laganja's memorable tirade only ended when she completely stormed off set. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Serena Chacha vs. Everyone Serena tried reading everyone before everyone read her right back. I can say, except for me, everyone in my team got absolutely completely positive feedback. 
Except you! Heidi in Closet speaks up. When Queens came for Aiden Zane, Heidi wasn't having it. Y'all need to leave it alone. Leave her alone. She's clearly bothered. Silky was ready to do so. Thinking she might be in the bottom, Silky exclaimed she was prepared to lip sync. I was ready to do so! Maddie Morphosis versus Jasmine Kennedy. Maddie and Jasmine both throw shade before their lip sync. What I'm selling is not what you're selling. That is the tea, okay? Oh, okay. Jasmine Kennedy comes out. With the help of Carrie Colby, Jasmine Kennedy came out as trans. I didn't think I was going to talk about this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mimi I'm First vs. Shangela When fans think of quintessential untucked moments, one confrontation immediately comes to mind. So you're saying the queens in New York are busted and horrible. Despite having done well in the challenge, Mimi still wasn't safe from the queens' critiques in the Interior Illusions Lounge. She was greatly offended when she was confronted for always serving camp. When other queens started chiming in, she snapped. Mimi lashed out and accused Shangela of having a sugar daddy. You'll never be glamour. Boo, just because you got a sugar daddy who pays for everything for you. Oh. That comment led to the single most iconic moment in Drag Race history. Shangela's rant was practically considered a cultural reset. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Fans have memorized every single line and hand motion. This moment has stood the test of time by being what many people consider to be the peak of Untucked. One way to immediately cause tension, one way, one way to immediately cause tension on Untucked? No. One way to immediately cause tension on Untucked? Nope. Is that too much? Probably. 